Britain. And the Jack Stars, they are buzzing early. Face off won by Pearson. Shot goes wide from Solove. He gets it back on the far side. They're joined by Hendricks. Ty Hendricks, far side, looks out in front. His pass went off the skate of John Whipple, the future Minnesota men's hockey player. Hendricks, far side corner, looks to pop out for Solove. And now he tries to keep it in the offensive zone. He can. Instead, it's the captain for this NTDP team, Brody Zemer, who's forced to the neutral zone. Taken by Solove, just in front of the NTDP bench. Regained by the program. Here's Whipple near side of his own zone. Up the ice, finds Stiga. Stiga for Higgins. Delayed offside, so they all get back on. So here's Ryan Coring to the far side for Hendricks. Centered for Cooper Pearson. Into the offensive zone, he comes with speed. Cuts towards the middle and fires a shot. It's held on to by Parsons. 13.59 to go in their first period. It's Galanik and Hagens. One back by Hagens. Now here's Rayo Mullen to Stiga. Avoids the check from Barry. Here's Philip Norberg, the draft pick of the Ottawa Senators. Taken away by Hagens in the far side corner. Galanik looking to help out, but Stiga regains it. Knocked down far side. Left off for Nordberg by Galanik. He carries to the near side. Looks up the middle of the ice. Finds Galanik. Gains the red and chips in. Rayo Mullen punches the puck back towards Stiga. Now here's Hagens trying to split the defenseman. Forces the puck to the near side corner. And now it's Bauer Berry for Muskegon. Berry. Looking for Spitznagel, can't clear the zone. Great play by Zemer. Looks back door for Stiga. Puck goes off his skate and the other way with Cooper Pearson. Here comes Spitznagel. Cuts across the blue line to the far side. They call him offside with Galanik. For his 118th career goal. Hagens leans in, near side corner across from Klee. One backwards by David. Hagen's stick had broken. Eiserman keeps in far side. Taken by Gritton and sent down the ice. Higgins gets a new twig from the bench as Jack Parsons stops the puck in his crease. Already 15 seconds gone off the Jacks kill. Here's Ray O'Mullen over the center ice logo. Hinges backwards to Higgins near side, enters the offensive end and wraps around to the far side. Coring meets it, but it's kept in by Plant. Here's Matt Vay Gritton taking it out of the zone. Gritton carries over the red, finds Klee, and it's sent deep. David Klee, the first one on it, immediately looks to fire it in front, but Rayo Mullen got in the way of the pass that was intended for Gritton. Dakota Rayo Mullen committed to Michigan, sends backwards. Miscommunication. Sees Plant pick the puck back up, carry up the near side into the offensive zone. Dropped off for Higgins across the way. Here's Iserman. Carried back to the neutral zone. Delayed offside. He enters. A bit too early, so Xavier Veo has time with 57 seconds to go in the Jacks. Penalty kill, Eiserman had collided with the linesman on his way out of the zone. Philip Nordberg's clearing attempt went into the NTD. Five player line change for the 18s while Ryan Coring regroups in his own end. To the near side for Pearson, finds Solove. He tries to send Pearson to the offensive zone and does just on the far side. Pearson looks to continue it around and does. It's met behind the net by a player wearing white, sent towards the near side where Barry drops down and sends it back around to Pearson in the far side corner. Here's Brody Zemer looking up the ice, looking for Stiga, goes between his legs. Stiga sends it down to the jack zone. Bauer Barry, the first one on it, reverses for Nordberg. Up towards Hendricks, kept in though. Zemer, far side for Stiga. Zemer gets it back in the corner, throws out in front, no one home. Skahan keeps it down low, but Nordberg Finds Solove, kept in again by the program. Nice play by Hagens. Now Zemer pushes on to Godziev. Need to change three hold. out of four killers with 101 remaining on the penalty kill. Connor comes on with Kroll. Veo joined by Coring. Here's Eiserman, fresh on the ice for the program. Kicks outside for Zemer, pushed down low for Eiserman again. Plant to Zemer, one timer from the slot, turned aside. And now it's Higgins on the near side. Three minutes to go in the period. Down for Zemer. Up top, Ray O'Mullen holds and fires. Blocked in traffic. Coring sends it down the length of the ice. Iserman was calling for the one-timer on the far side, but Dakota Ray O'Mullen called his own number. As now he receives in his own end. Higgins quickly back to the offensive zone. Taken away by Veo. Sends Kroll the other way. Two on one. Kroll has Zemer all over him. Regained by the program, and now Zemer carries over the center ice logo to the offensive end. Far side, fired wide at Godziev's cage. Kept in by Eiserman on the near side wall. Taken by Veo. He's looking to clear, but he can't. Regained by Higgins. 
Out of the box is Gridden. Joining his line on the ice while Zemer sends to the near side corner. Coring the first one on it. Back across the way. No one home for the Jacks. But Higgins is there. Finding Iserman. Fired on to Gadiev. They got to run downstairs for that on ice level. Van Vliet across from Pearson. One by Van Vliet. Fired on by Stiga. Patted aside by Gadiev. On the near side wall, Gridden makes a nice play to chip the puck down the ice for Hensler to receive. Ogan Hensler up the far side. Zemer looks backwards for Stiga. It goes all the way back for Rayo Mullen. Stiga quickly to the offensive zone. Looking for Zemer on the far side. It's taken by Hendricks in the neutral zone. Here's Skahan. 10 seconds to go in the frame. Hagen enters the offensive zone. Six seconds, holds and fires, and it's turned aside by Godzieff. Puck goes out. He's joined by a couple of future Eagles. Stiga and Hagen's committed to BC. Face off one by Zemer out to Iserman, who joined for this quick shot. Uh, Eves Hero, the director of hockey operations. Jack Callahan, the head coach. Brendan Van Riemsdyk, that's a familiar name to a lot of talented hockey players in the state of New Jersey. Of course, his brothers in the National League. James Van Riemsdyk, a New Jersey native. Brendan has been a really strong skills coach in Red Bank for a couple of years now. Really great staff the Generals are putting together for their inaugural season. Fired onto Gonziev's side of the net. Waiting for it was James Hagens, but Gonziev got in the way of the shot. And now here is Connor chipped high in the air, up towards Solovey on side, says the linesman just in front of him. But Whipple meets him and leaves it off for Teddy Stiga. Up the near side, straight into the seating the Lumberjacks website. There's a really great video up there as well. And you click on the USPHL affiliate tab to be redirected to the Gens website. Here comes Stiga to the near side. Around Nordberg, Barry shades over to help out. Kept in by Zemer, pushed down to the near side corner. Taken by Higgins behind the cage. Knocked down by Pearson who takes the puck up the far side. He falls down to the ice. Nothing from the officials. He blew a tire. Well, here's Pearson again in the neutral zone. Back on his feet with the puck sent into the offensive end. But Whipple goes up to Stiga. Over the blue line, middle of the ice. Fired on to Gods. You have a blocker save. Stiga back behind the net to the near side for Bauer Berry where it's taken and chipped high in the air down the ice. Solovey gives chase. On to Sam Larilla, the lone defenseman back. Drops off for Skahan, near side. Taken back by Pearson, down for Henricks, the New York Rangers draft pick, before Stiga recovers and plays in the neutral zone where Henricks meets the puck. Dropped off for Coring across the way. Pearson, the intended receiver, but it was just out of his reach. It allowed Larilla make it. Yep, Larilla, the Moorhead, Minnesota native, the opportunity to get it back. On the far side now, carried to the offensive zone by Van Zoggy, curls up the wall. Sends down low, here's Cooper Pearson. Ooh, big hit by the draw side. near side across from Higgins. It's one backwards by the Hobhog New York native committed to BC. Played down the ice, Bauer Barry on the near side, clears his own zone, finds Connor two on two, making a three on two. Connor was slowly making his way towards the offensive zone. Ended up holding up Cody Kroll, and now the Jacks get in, but Connor had to wrap it around where he meets Whipple on the near side corner. Far side, Larilla met by Gridden. Puck goes behind for Connor. Curling away, finds Gridden far side. Matt Bay up to Bauer Berry. To the middle of the blue line, Norberg adjusts his body and fires a shot that gets blocked. Connor gets it taken by Whipple behind the net. Up the far side for Stiga, getting his feet moving. Centers for the defenseman Whipple, and now here's Higgins near side. Takes a check from Norberg. Picked up by Whipple, sent down low. Stiga pops out in front, fired on the goddamn James Higgins. Makes it 2 nothing for the NTDP. Two goals in quick succession. A great pass from Stiga in the corner out front to Higgins, who put program. it in. Starts a line change. Easton Young in his own zone. Up the ice finds Justin Solove. Long shift for this third line. Solo fires one wide. As I say that, they start the process of a line change. Kroll jumps on the ice, but it's taken by Stiga. Played to the near side for Zemer. Brody Zemer dropped off for Hensler. Cycled back down low, popped out for Stiga by Higgins, the two that connected for one of the two NTDP goals, the second one. But now a battle ensues behind the net. Uh, coin and Coring for the Jacks, Stiga and Higgins for the NTDP, taken by Kroll, who is providing puck support. Now he carries the offensive zone. Met by Skahan on the far side, curls up the wall, 
with possession still. Kroll in front for Ockcoin. Zemer got in the way of the pass. And now it's a 2-1-1 the other way. Hagens looks in front. Good back check by the captain, Kroll. Kept in by Hensler in front was Skahan. The defenseman was all alone in front of the Jacks net. But the puck bounced over his stick. Now back door, the puck gets sent again. Getting in the way of it was Connor. Puck gets cleared down the ice. Kroll will definitively win this race, so no icing called. He takes it, finds Critton, fires a shot, rebound is loose. They score! It's called a goal on the ice. It belongs to Joe. Jo they start their line change. Plant to the far side corner, creating havoc on the forecheck while Boisvert comes to Veo near side. Taken away by Hagens, regained Boisvert. But now it's Brody Zemer. Left off for Lapointe at the blue line. His shot. Blocked by Solove. Behind the net, now it's Baker. Make it Stiga. Stiga pops out in front. A blocker save on his shot by Godziev. Skahan, fresh on the ice, keeps the puck in the offensive zone. Will Skahan committed to Boston College out of Woodbury, Minnesota. One of the taller players on this NTDP team. 21 to 16 in favor of the NTDP, where they also lead the goal department. 2 to 1. Fired on by Zemer. Big rebound. Gets pushed behind the net by Ryan Coring. That was good, because Stiga was right on the back door as well. Here comes David Klee joining Pearson and Hendricks. Klee protects, pops back door for Pearson, who is just a step behind the play. And now Coring back in the neutral zone, sends into the far side corner. Dakota Rayo Mullen, the first one on it, plays towards the near side, taken by Klee. Played off the back of that, Pearson. The one that received it, but is taken by Zemer. Played to the neutral zone here, Stiga, Stiga. Taken away by Ty Hendricks. Three on one the other way with a back checker and Hagens. Hendricks near side. Throws it in front. Good play by Skahan. Cleared the danger. And now it's a two on two the other way. Stiga drops off for Ray O'Mullen, the defenseman. Back to the middle of the ice. Hagens fired on target. Shoulder to side by Gondiev. And now here comes David Klee. Session. Now comes back up towards the red line. Ray O'Mullen knocked down hard by Cody Kroll, but here's Hagens. Looking for Zemer, has him fired on Tagadziev. Here's Toll up the wall for Connor. Connor leads a two on one with Gridden. Connor holds, fires, turned aside by Parsons. Cleared down the length of the ice. That was Skahan doing the honors. 40 seconds to go in the period, taken by Hagen. Zemer in front, looks back for Hagen's great stick by Jake Toll. Gets it out of danger. Just like the first intermission, we'll have the Lumberjacks Hockey Network intermission report during the break. But first, Roll take the draw, far side, now across from Hagen. Stiga in the trigger position, gets the puck, fires on Tegadziev. Redirected and really shooting up the draft rankings. Now projected first rounder, a shot goes off the body in front on game nights, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even last night on Thursday. And they do a great job providing great social media coverage of the USHL. Here's Zemer to the near side, carries up the wall. Stiga back into the neutral zone, looking for a quick zone entry. Nine seconds to go in the frame. Hagens met by Coring. Bayonne takes the puck, he'll hold on. And the Jacks, who were losing 2 nothing. Halfway through this second period, tie the game back up at two apiece. Nineteen saves on 21 shots. It's Hagen's across from Kroll this time. Battle ensues off the draw. It's taken by Zemer, looking for the third forward Stiga, but kept in by Kroll. Drop back for Kr Connor. And now here comes a three on two with a back checker. Hagen's far side to the near side for Zemer, though Connor hard on the back check, carries the puck up. He finds Cody Kroll to Connor, middle of the ice. Connor steps in, fires a shot to the near side corner. Him and Larilla collapse on the puck and it goes across the way for Gridden. Back to the near side corner for Connor. Up the wall to the blue line, Barry. Across it to Nordberg, back to Connor near side. Connor met by a trio of white jerseys. One of them being worn by James Hagens, who clears the zone. Now it's Stiga, dropped off for Hagens, back to Stiga, and front he scores! A pretty passing play from Stiga and Hagens, a give and go, resulting in Stiga in the middle Center of the ice. Slot. For Stiga, it's his 28th goal of the year, 63rd point in game number 52. Two future Boston College Eagles connecting, one of the best teams in NCAA hockey this season. 
with a trio of former NTDP players up front. Now is Ryan Leonard with Will Smith and Gabe Perot leading the Eagles to a Frozen Four appearance. Puck gets cleared out of play by goal he scored against Michigan Tech back in the uh, opening regional in the NCAA tournament where he kicked the stick, kicked the puck to his stick and in one motion just fired a, a snapshot past Blake Batilla. One of the highlight goals from the regional rounds. Here's Skahan sent in on to Gadziev. And of course the Lumberjacks who are on the ice. And a great, great piece of memorabilia to go and get signed post game. Boisvert leans in across from Hagens, pushes the face off forward, now finds Whitcomb. Quick zone exit for the Jacks, turns into a quick zone entry. Whitcomb dropped off for Sasha, fired onto Parsons. I, I hate this saying, but I'm gonna say it's the most dangerous lead in hockey, especially against a team so offensive minded like the Lumberjacks. Face off one back by the program. Claire's keeps it in though, sends it back down behind the net where John Whipple meets it. Taken by Whitcomb. Battling for possession. Broken stick on the ice belonging to Higgins. Gets a new one while Whitcomb comes out to Claire. He's fired on that and had it aside. Here's Sasha Boisvert with it. Behind for Klee. Klee away from Higgins. It comes back with Zemer. Zemer far side meeting Veo. Danny Claire's in his own end. Backhand pass to Whitcomb off the wall. Now here's Klee. Clean looking for Boisvert. Those taken back by Higgins. Now Zemer. Cody Zemer committed to Minnesota, carries the offensive zone, far side, met by Veo, forced down and around the back of the net, pops out for Stiga, he scores! His second goal of the game, third point, Teddy Stiga makes it 5-2. Stops the it team. behind the net for Cam Alcoin. Alcoin up the far side, gaining speed, fires ahead for Solove. no icing, says the linesman. Buck stays behind the net for Justin. Met by Skahan, it comes to Whitcomb, back to Solove. Cutting towards the near side, puts the brakes on behind and plays up the far side wall for Jake Toll. He takes a hard check from Zemer, who takes the puck and finds Stiga. Now Hagens gets it off his backhand and down deep. Met by Claire's on the far side. Pop back door for Stiga, who's got two goals tonight. He throws it back out in back front. Backwards, here's LaPointe across the way. Skahan kept in, sent down and around behind the net. Boisvert winning the battle position with his body. So it comes up the near side for Jake Toll. Now Solove splits the defense, goes across the way for Whitcomb, but forced down to the corner by Skahan. Boisvert joining him, working for it, popped out, comes back to Whitcomb, far side at the half wall, pushes down for Boisvert behind the net. Boisvert up to Claire's near side. Claire's, his shot gets blocked, Stiga and Higgins, three on one, they've got Zemer with him. Zemer, third man high, backdoor, Stiga, backdoor for Hagens on the tap pass, but he couldn't corral it, James Hagens. Now it's Sasha Boisvert, halfway through this third period, up to Whitcomb, cuts towards the middle of the ice, creating separation, holds and fires the shot, blocker save, pushed on target, but turned aside. David Klee, fresh on the ice, watches as Zemer enters the offensive end, gets it deep and gets off for the captain, Brody Zemer. Zemer. Drops off, looking for Higgins and finds him. Taken away by Boisvert, shipped high in the air. Bouncing puck, taken by Dakota Rayo Mullen. Across the way, Noah LaPointe. And now back to Rayo Mullen, up the near side. No intended receiver, but maybe a set play. No icing, Brody Zemer winning the race of the hash marks. Now it's back with Higgins to the near side. Rayo Mullen enters the offensive zone. Stiga gives chase on the dumping with Galanic on his tail. Now Higgins looking across the way. Ran out of room before he was met by a Lumberjack. Spitznagel knocked down from behind. The Jacks are going to go on the power play just as soon as the program touches up Five. by the back of the net. Matt Vay Gridden, his third point of the night. Now 36 goals, 44 assists for 80 points, leading the USHL. It's been a phenomenal season. The single season record for the Lumberjacks is 89. That was set by Rem Pitlick back in 2015-16. Britton still has three more games after this one. Still four minutes and 20 seconds well, left. There will take the draw near side across from James Higgins. One back by Higgins. Emery far side. Find Zemer chipped high in the air off the scoreboard. Weekend. Next weekend they'll see his older brother Michael Higgins, who plays on the Chicago Steel. He's got 32 points this year. For Chicago, who's looking to clinch that last spot in the playoffs. Whitcomb, a one-timer, turned aside. Boisvert finds it on the near side. 
Puck gets kept in by Gritton, turns and fires wide. Connor gets it far side. Chica goes to the bench. Then he puts the brakes on again. And the face off from Boisvert near side circle of the Jack zone. Face off. One back by the program here is Hensler. Hensler far side of the blue line. Sends down to Baker. Make it Stiga. Stiga holds. Back door finds Hagens. Back up top to Hensler. Push down towards Zemer. Now Stiga behind the net to the near side corner. Cycled for Hagens on the far side. James Hagens turns and fires. His shot gets blocked. Matt Bay Gritten back on the ice. Gets it taken away. But now Young fires it up to Connor. Up towards Boisvert. One on one working on the defenseman Hensler. The two go to the corner together. Still colliding. Jack's had an interference call that they could have gotten instead. Here's Zemer to the offensive zone. Knocked down with Veo, Boisvert, and Hensler talking to each other. Taken away by Stiga. Looks back, door. Pass goes off the skate of Zemer. Kept in by Hensler. Takes a check by Boisvert. Sasha looking for Connor, but Hensler plays on the near side. And Brody Zemer, 1-0-4 to go in regular.